How many of you would love to sneak wheat into your family's diet, but just don't know how to go about it without being caught? You know, you want to rotate your wheat from your storage. Well, let me share one of my sneakiest tricks with you. It's called bulgur wheat. By using a simple four-step process, you can incorporate wheat into many foods your family already enjoys, such as hamburgers, soups, salads, meatloafs, casseroles, and many more. Let me share these four simple steps with you. Number one, you want to cook your wheat. Remember, for each, every two cups of wheat, it's four cups of water. Cook it just like rice for about an hour. Drain the excess water, and now it's called wheat berries. They look like this. Okay. Once you have your wheat berries, you'll want to lay them on a cookie sheet and bake them at 350 degrees for two hours until very dry. Now it's called cooked wheat, and it should be very, very dry to the touch, like this. At this point, you'll want to take your dry wheat and place it in the blender. Grind it until coarse, crumb size. Now, it's called bulgur wheat. It looks just like this. It's just cracked little pieces of dried wheat. Put it in an airtight container in your pantry. And it can last there well up to six months. Now, when you're ready to use your bulgur wheat, simply take a bowl and some cheesecloth and line it with the cheesecloth. This will help us wring out all of the water out of the wheat after it's done soaking. Put in about a quarter of a cup from your jar that you've been storing it in and cover it with some hot water. Allow it to sit this way for about 35 minutes until they're just chewy tender. The bulgur wheat looks just like plump little breadcrumbs. Drain it well out of the cheesecloth when it's finished and you can add it to patties, soups, whatever. It has a great nutty texture and takes on the flavor of whatever it's added to. I'm going to wring out the water. This one's been sitting for about half an hour. And look at this. We have this beautiful bulgur wheat ready to throw into a salad. Mmm, doesn't this salad look delicious? Below the video clip, I'll give you a few suggestions on how to use bulgur wheat in your cooking. If you want more tips and recipes on how to use bulgur wheat, be sure to visit our stores tab on simplylivingsmart.com and purchase your copy of my wheat book, part of the four-part series, Eating Gourmet the Food Storage Way. You too can fall in love with your wheat.